Hey you guys, it's me Linwood and my beautiful daughter Zelina. This is the youngest baby. And today we're gonna be showing you, or I'm gonna be showing you, she's just entertaining me in the background. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to achieve this beachy, messy wave style. And of course you guys know my hair is naturally curly, so we're gonna be going ahead and transforming it from that into this. So if that interests you, go ahead and stay tuned. Thumbs up if you like it, of course. And um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And of course, Comment below and let us know what you think. Thanks so much for watching and let's just dive right in. We're gonna get started in three, two, and one. Let's get it. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I'm starting with previously shampooed, conditioned, and dried hair. And this is my hair uh, here without much product in it at all. I have a little bit of my Rust Deep Shine oil in there. This is the length of my hair here, so uh, if your hair is about to eye length, you should be good to go for the style or a little bit longer. I'm going to start off by putting a little bit of my Rust Deep Shine oil in the hair with it dry. And um, I'll have links to all these products in the description bar below, by the way. I'm going to put about a nickel sized amount in my hand, as you can see here. I'm just rubbing it right on through that hair. And we're just going to make sure to work it through there and get that hair as saturated, not saturated, but covered as possible. Now I'm going in with my Aquage Beyond Shine Spray. It's great for flat ironing. It helps out with smoothness. Uh, it gives a little bit of slip to the hair so you don't end up with lines, but it doesn't leave the hair overly oily. And it's not heavy like an oil sheen would be. So I've got my Denman brush. I'm gonna go ahead and go through here. I love it. It's great for tender-headed people because of the ball bristles and how easily the bristles give when you're going through tangles. Just gonna brush through my hair as much as possible before I start blow drying, just to ensure I'm not snatching out any tufts of weave. I've got my Chi Rocket blow dryer, and we're just gonna go ahead and combine those two and blow dry this hair as smooth, well, not as smooth as possible, but pretty smooth, <laughs> so I don't have a lot of tangling. So once I've got this hair fairly smooth, I am going to go ahead and turn this baby off. I'm going to take a rat tail comb and my half inch flat iron. I'm going to just comb through this hair first and ensure that there are no tangles left in the hair. There's my half inch flat iron I was telling you about and I've got it to about 400 degrees. Uh, it just kind of helps out with smoothness. I will link in the description bar a couple of great flat irons that you can use because unfortunately they don't make mine anymore. So I'm working with sections about, I'd say, half an inch in size, and as I go back, they're actually getting a little larger. Some of them are even an inch wide uh, because this is made to be a messy style. So you start by just tapping at the root area, turning the iron, and then just extending the iron out through the hair. And you'll notice it will curl that hair just like so. So we're going to continue that one more, and then I'm going to speed it up because you don't want to watch me do this 42 bazillion times. Well, it won't be that many times. And again, we're just gonna comb through this section just to make sure everything is nice and smooth. Pick up that flat iron, turn it, and then extend out through the hair and that curl will just pop right out. And we're just continuing that same process all the way to the back of the head. I'll slow it down again for you once I come back up to the front just so you can kind of catch all the details. Now, just in case you're wondering, all the extra uh, mouth movements and stuff I had on gospel music and I was singing to my baby in the background, slight tapping at the roots. I like to do tapping at the root area because it just kind of helps to make sure I get that hair nice and smooth with no waves or bumps like you're seeing here. It gives a more natural wavy look rather than uh, if you've ever had curly hair and flat on your hair and you have that little wave in the front, it just kind of gives a little like impression that just shows like hey this guy's hair is naturally curly and I don't like that because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist with that so there you go just continue that process all the way to the back anyway like I was saying before I am singing I think on this point I'm singing a uh, stomp by Kirk Franklin and uh, I went into several other songs so my daughter and I were jamming like there was no tomorrow now on the sides I'm curling this hair up instead of curling it back uh, because I want to make sure everything is kind of coming up in a way. So that's what you're seeing here. I'm going to continue that on the other side as well as in the very back of my head. I want everything to come up. 
All right, and now you have this hot mess here that you should never walk out of the house with. So this is what it looks like from a bird's eye view. I'm gonna take my same Denman brush, which is a godsend, and begin brushing through this hair and just kind of seeing how I want this hair to be placed. And it's not quite giving me the life that I need right now. So I'm gonna continue to work with it a little bit and brush through it and you'll see me kind of change directions. And that's when all the magic kind of begins to happen. So you can see here, I've already got more volume out of it. It's kind of giving me that very uh, voluminous wavy look. And now I'm taking my TG Bedhead Wax Stick and I'm going to uh, do that. Don't forget, it's a push up. It's amazing. I'm gonna rub it all through the hair to include the inside, at the scalp area, all that. It just gives it a little bit of a textured feel and it doesn't make it look so clean and perfect. I can have it messy really easily. And from there, I'm just gonna mess that hair up a bit and place it. And once I get it exactly to my liking, uh, well not exactly, it's meant to be imperfect. So once I get it pretty much to my liking, I'm actually going to pick up my hairspray and spray, which I'll show you in a minute. So here's my Deep Shine Oil Hairspray by Rusk. I love this stuff. It's not too firm. It's not tornado spray. It is easily workable, but it does give the hair a nice hold and it doesn't smell stank like most hairsprays. It smells like a fragrance that you might like to wear. Uh, and from there, I'm just going to go ahead and work that into the hair, just kind of tucking any flyaways that I see. And we are pretty much finished. This is from the back, the side, the front. And then, you know, you'll see a little bit of the other side. Bye, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and God bless. And as always, you're fancy now. Can you say you're fancy now? Hmm? You gonna say you're fancy now? No? Meaning. You're fancy now. Say it. I'll take it. That's close enough. <laughs> Bye, you guys.